Yo, what's up guys? It's me, your most favorite potato, back here with another Scratch tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a day and night cycle in Scratch. So like, you know, in Minecraft, how it's like day for 10 minutes and night for 10 minutes and then back day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be learning how to code that in Scratch. And I have this example scene set up right here. It's just a simple player movement thing, right? Um, not, nothing that, um, nothing too crazy, right? So, for this, we're going to have to, first of all, uh, paint a new sprite, right? Then click on this box option, change the fill to completely black, uh, change that line to zero, right? And then just draw a giant square, uh, and then just make it centered, right? Always center your sprites. And then go back into your code. First of all, I'll call this, um, I'll call this darkness, I guess. Right. And then we want to head over to the variable section, create a new variable, call it, uh, cycle speed, I guess. Then what you want to do is do one green flag clicked. Oh wait. Yeah. We also, I actually forgot. We also have to create a variable called the current time and then what we're gonna do is we are going to go into the forever uh, we're gonna go into control drag out of forever also drag out a set current time to a hundred so basically what this is gonna be is a hundred is gonna represent midday so it's gonna represent like 12 um, p.m. and then zero is gonna represent midnight so 12 a.m. right and we are also going to drag in a set ghost effect to current time. Now, you guys can see that, oh wait, let's click the green flag, that nothing's actually happening. It looks the same as before, right? Okay, yeah, well that's true. Um, and we're going to fix that now. So we're also going to change... We're going to set cycle speed to, let's say, 1, right? Then we're going to also wait cycle speed, and then we're going to change current time by 1. Now, uh, basically, this will go up every second, right? And if I just make this quicker, if I just change this value, um... It should start to get darker and darker. Oh, wait, oh, wait, my bad, my bad. Um, we actually have to do negative 10, right? And now, yeah, okay. You can see it's starting to get darker and darker. Uh, we're actually going to change this to 1, though. So, oh, wait, I mean negative 1. I'm so stupid. So this actually now simulates um, what like like darkness effect, right? Um, so this is basically gonna go to nighttime in like a hundred seconds, okay? Um, but you will notice, like, if I change this to negative ten to make it speed up, what you will notice is that eventually it's gonna get so dark you legit can't see anything except for a black square, right? Which is not good. And then it's going to go into negatives. So. I'm actually going to run this script. Wait, actually no. Never mind. I'm actually going to experiment around. Uh, with its ghost effect. And see how much it is for like. Complete. How much I want it to be like. Complete darkness, right? If that, if that made any sense. Any, any sense. Oh my god, I can't talk. Okay, so, um, to fix that issue, what we're going to do is we are going to do, if we're going to put an if, um, let's put less than or equal to, so equal to or less than, we're going to put current time, if current time is equal to 50 or less than 50, right then we are actually going to 
wait. Okay, we have to create a new variable. We're going to call this variable uh, cycle way, I guess. I don't know. So this basically is going to indicate if we're going up or down. Um, basically, if we're making... If we're going from night to day or from day to night, okay? And um, what we're going to do is we're going to put an if. And then put an equals to. Uh, cycle way is equal to up, right? Wait, actually, no, down. So down means we're going from day to night. And then we can duplicate this. Put this in an up. And then put this in 10. But we actually have to may find a way to toggle this variable. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to drag this out and drag this piece of code out. Oh my god. Okay. And um, we are going to change current time by one. Whatever. We're going to change cycle speed by one here. And, into, oh my god, no, don't delete that. But, instead of a different script, we are going to put ourselves, we're going to put this in there. And then, we're going to set cycle way to up. Oh, wait. Up, all right. And then we're going to duplicate this and do 100 or greater than 100. That's 10. This needs to be 100. Okay. Now, if it's greater than 100, then we're going to set cycle way to down. And now, this should be working. Oh, wait. We actually have to do one more thing. And that is set cycle way to down at the very beginning okay so look it's getting darker and darker and darker until it gets to a certain darkness and then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and now again okay and then see it's getting dark and dark again now we can change this value to one right and that will be like an actual day slash night counter so every hundred every one hundred seconds, it's gonna complete one cycle, right? And we can also hide all these variables, and there we go. We have ourselves a fully functional day and night cycle. Yeah. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace out.